Now, what we're going to look at today, the main purpose of today's lessons, is uh, questions that have, rather than just having tan x or sine x or cosine x, now what if we have something else here? So what we're going to do to solve this is a method called u subs. And we've actually looked at u subs earlier, and we use it to simplify questions that are difficult um, and change them into something that's a little bit easier to do. So what we're actually going to do is, rather than answer this question, because we're not really sure how to answer this yet, and also, we don't really know what that graph looks like yet. Transformations of graphs we're going to look at next lesson. So instead of putting tan 4x, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put tan u. So in other words, what I said here is let u equal 4x, and then I'm going to solve this question. So to solve this question, inverse tan of 1, and we get 45 degrees, and if we add on 180 to that, then we get 225 degrees. Now, we've got to be very careful here. We're answering now in terms of u, but our original question was in terms of x. So not only do we have to solve this question, we have to solve it for a new set of limits. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute our x values here and here into the formula that we did for our u substitution. So 4 times 0 is 0, and when x is 360, 4 times 360 is 1440. So we change the question, and we also change the limits. Now, we've mainly been working from 0 to 360, so these answers would all be good. Once you've found two answers for the question, every graph is going to repeat after 360. Now, tan's particular will actually repeat after 180. But for the purpose of this, once we've got our two answers, what we're going to do is we're going to add on 180, add on 180. Oh, sorry, add on 360, add on 360. Do the same again, add on 360, add on 360. What I'm checking here is, am I within these limits still? One more time. Add on 360, add on 360, still good. If we were to add on another 360, then we're going to be over this limit. And actually, if we add on 360 to this, also we're going to be over this limit. Now, we should also check if we subtract 360 from this, would that stay within this range? And actually, the answer is not. Now, the particular reason why we need to set the question up like this is, you're always going to get two answers to begin with. And that doesn't matter whether you're doing sine, cosine, or tan. But notice how many rows of answers that I actually have here relates immediately to the original question. So if we have a question where it says, say, sine 3x, then I know I'm going to have three lines of answers. If I have cosine 7x, then I know I'm going to have seven lines of answers. So find your two sets of solutions, add 360 on as many times as you need to do, but it should be relevant for that number there. Now that looks like we've solved the question. We've managed to find our solutions. Look what we found out. We found the u values. Our question says x. So now we need to go back and change these to previous answers. So if u equals 4x, that tells us if we want to find x, if we solve this equation, it's going to equal u divided by 4. So our last step is we actually need to divide all these answers by 4, and that's hopefully what I have on this very last step here. And we're going to end up with those answers, probably with quite a bit of rounding. Uh, so you might not want to round to the nearest degree immediately when you do these questions.